In this video, I'm using MAME to emulate the Dicksmith VZ200, a microcomputer from the early 80s. I went to, I searched for MAME, went to their web page, and you can get the latest release or I've got an older release now, which was 0 0.228. So to install that, once it's downloaded, let's double click. Hmm, pretty slow. I'm just going to extract that here somewhere, make a new folder, name 0228. So it's actually just and zipping it to one particular place, it's not installing it like putting it in the start menu or anything like that. And once I've installed it, I want to be able to run it from the command line. So, if I go into this place I'm making the video, I can't currently run it. I'd have to type the folder and then the name of the program. So instead of that I'll tell it, I'll add it to the path This is a command it knows. Help. Uh, single dash and then help. I think that will work. And that tells me I can use show usage. And that's a very long list of options. So I've got that saved in a file uh, earlier. This is the information provided by the show usage command. I'm going to use the dash window to make sure it displays in a window. So you type MAME64 and dash window if you want and the name of the system. Uh, VZ-200 won't be correct but I'll show you what happens here. says unknown system and gives suggestions of similar things so vz200 without a dash is what's needed oops there so that will get the correct system and it will say what files are missing So I need something from either a VZ200 or Laser210 file. I'll make a folder to put them in and copy. 
copy them from this archive I have. Now VZ200 isn't there. Uh, by the way, I'm typing tab to see if I can complete one of these words. Tab laser 210 is there, and I'll copy that into the folder I've made. Now, to tell it to use that uh, folder and the files in it, I'll tell it dash rom path name of the folder and then still have the system name at the end. And this is working. So the next thing is trying it out. Let's move this over to the side. Uh, there's two things that are important here. I've got an image of the keyboard, which I found linked from this Wikipedia page. So I've opened that up on its own tab, and that will tell me what keys I need to press to get stuff like equals or rub out to delete a character or the left and right arrows. Then the other thing is I've found a manual. Uh, the VZ200, I didn't find a regular manual, only the technical reference manual. So I've used the VZ301 which is going to have almost the same commands from basic and things like that. So I've downloaded this one and that's here. So I want to try some of this 10 rem cover, 20 for I and for equals it needs to be same character the same uh, key as minus and beside zero. So I think my minus key does minus, shift minus does equals, and I'll need to go back and delete that minus I've typed. That's control M does this left arrow. Control M moves back. And control semicolon does rub out. Uh, I don't really need the space here, so I'll go right from there. Control comma. And continue with the manual. For i equals 1 to 52. 1 to 52. 30 for j. Shift minus for equals. 1 to 8. Color without a u. Color j. 50, print, now I need the quote marks, which is shift 2, space, shift 2, and I need one of these graphics characters. doesn't tell me which one that is, so I'll just go to the keyboard and pick one. 
So I'll do G. So Shift G should get a graphics character. And then Shift 2 for the other quote mark. And semicolon, which I just type normally on the keyboard. 60 next J twenty next I eighty go to a hundred. I don't know if that's needed, so I'll try it without it. Hmm. Okay, so that works and shows uh, colors on the graphics characters. So the first one, the middle loop was color J, showing colors 1 to 8. 1 looks like green, 2 yellow, 3 blue, Somewhere should have a list of those colors. In fact, I think the keyboard probably has the corresponding colors. Three is blue, four is red, five is buff, which is also kind of white. Six is cyan, seven is magenta, eight is orange, and then it's repeating again. So another thing I haven't done yet is try out some of these other key shortcuts. I should be able to type control in one of these things to do it. So control G for go to. It works. And I'll just go to... 100, which isn't a real line. There's Control H, CLS, Control J, this rem, for a comment. And I can do these shift characters to do the graphics characters. So some of them have non graph just other symbols on the on them. So I should have another one. So that's typing the graphics characters. Somewhere there should be a list command, I expect. I don't need to... Oh, funny that rem didn't work like that. That works. It doesn't like the graphics characters. There's L list, but that's not what I'm looking for. It might be easier just to type list. Or I could type L list and go back and delete the extra L using control M to go back, control semicolon 
to what they call rub out. So that was an example of trying out one of the programs uh, in the manual of the VZ100, uh, VZ200 um, emulating it on MAME.